Hi, welcome to Lunar Logic Tarot. I am Juju, and this is going to be a bonus reading for water signs. So that's Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, cross watchers, you are welcome to watch. I just ask that you please be respectful of the zodiac sign. Okay, this one is, uh, even though I'm doing on Facebook Live, you're welcome to join. I will be, uh, this one is specifically for YouTube because the other one would not upload. So, <clears throat> and if you are watching on YouTube, I will link the original one in the uh, description box and the comment, comment section below so that way you can go and take a look at that one if you like. So please <clears throat> take what resonates, leave the rest. If don't make it fit, if it doesn't, any and all decisions that are made based on the information that is given here, you are solely responsible for. Please do not let it override your intuition, your higher self, your your guides, and also please always use discernment when watching tarot or getting tarot readings. Okay, so <clears throat> water signs. This could be something that you are currently going through, something you have went through, something that you could be going through. Same thing with the cross watchers. This could be something that a water sign is dealing with you, that, that maybe you're experiencing from a water sign. This can involve in any area of your life, not just in love. So let's see. Spirit, show me Cancer Pisces Scorpio, please. Show me Cancer Scorpio Pisces, please. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Bottom of the deck, we got tough it out. We have dearest, dearest wish come true. And then we have mere seconds to spare in reverse. All right. So there's something that you're trying to muscle through. Big time. And it could be a financial burden. It could be a legal case as well. So if you're worried about waiting for some money to come through, you're trying your best not to stress over it, but you're going to have this money and you're going, it looks like you might be splitting it two ways between you and somebody else. This will be a good thing to do so. Okay. Let's see what this is about. Man. Let me see what deck they want to use. All right, let's use this. Okay, Spirit, show me, please stand by. What are we waiting for? I feel like you are waiting on news or um, some type of finances to come through. Or some, maybe some type of contract that you think that is not going to be a large or some type of settlement that may you may feel like you're not going to get the amount that you're requesting, but I feel like you will be. But you may have to f share it with somebody else, though. So let's see. Please stand by. Why is this here for my water sign? Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, change. You're waiting to move. I think you're waiting on money to move. Show me big deal reverse. Why is big deal reverse here? Yeah. You're waiting. Again, expectation. Waiting. Waiting on news for money. Waiting to move for money. Or you gotta wait. It's like you're waiting for the money to move. Let's see. <clears throat> Or it's possible that you're waiting on news from somebody that they have moved. Or a place is opening up for you. Show me jackpot. Why is this here? Or it could be that you're waiting for somebody to share in the financial burdens with you. 50-50. Or maybe there might be some type of contract or deal on, in the works. Show me jackpot. Why is this with my water sign? Thank you, Spirit. Toil and labor in reverse. Okay. You might be winning the lottery. You and somebody else might be going in on something together, and it's going to pay out. And maybe neither one of you will have to work again. Okay, this seems like a more financial finan uh, contracts and stuff than it would be love. So, hold on, spirit. Not too many. Okay. Let's see. Show me what's 50-50. Why is 50-50 here? Or it's maybe that someone has lost their job, but in doing so, they're able to focus on better avenues of making money. Show me 50-50. I, I don't know. I kind of get lottery. 
I am going to go over the numbers here at the end. Show me 50-50. <laughs> Sudden wealth. Lucky. Okay. This could be bad in reverse. So house. And then thoughts. So if you're thinking about moving, you or somebody that you're dealing with, it's going to be a good thing. Having a fresh start is going to be a good thing here. I'm going to go one more round with this. Show me the change. What's the change about? Show me the change. Why is change here? Or someone is waiting for somebody to change or they have expectations about this. Okay, yeah. There's something that is an ending. Show me expectation. Tell me more about this expectation. Wealthy man in reverse. Someone is expecting a wealthy man to end something, but they're not. Show me toil. And, okay, somebody here might be waiting on a wealthy man to end something with somebody else, but they're waiting for them for money or something like that. Also, somebody might be going, I mean, with COVID, I doubt anyone's really going to casinos, but someone might be trying to win via the lottery or casinos. Okay. Also, someone might be waiting on a ride. We have toil and labor here in reverse, or toil and labor in reverse has journey. So someone here might be quitting their job after they get a lump sum of money and going on a trip. Or someone might be taking whatever severance package or whatever money they have to, to travel somewhere else for, uh, for a job. Show me sudden wealth. Yeah, we have message here reverse. Someone is not going to tell somebody else that they've gotten a large sum of money. Could be inheritance as well. Show me house. Why is house here? Marriage. Thoughts? Why is thoughts here? Someone is thinking about moving and getting married. This is a good thing. Main mail in reverse. But it could be to somebody else. You or them. Hmm. We have wealthy man, main male, and then thoughts here. There could be three men vibing for your attention. Possibly. Or there could be whatever your your sexual identity is or um, your preference. Or orientation doesn't matter okay so this is all about energy okay so let's see what this is about let's go again okay someone doesn't want to be just somebody's main male here somebody wants to be the husband they want to provide stability or work together to provide stability a future But there's something about that's hidden, though. Um, someone's not getting the message. Possibly, maybe someone doesn't understand where the other person's coming from. <clears throat> someone is trying to build a future with you. Are you with them? Or possibly just both of you, sir. Yeah, okay. We have Nine of Swords reverse. Seven of Wands reverse. Okay. okay. We have Ten of Coins reverse. The Hermit. And Faith. Which is a higher fence. We'll go one more. Anything else spirit you want to say? Ten of Swords reverse. Anything else you want to say? Let me move this up here so you can see. Show me seven of wands reverse. Nine of coins. Ten of coins reverse. Why is this here? Page of swords in the reverse. Show me that hermit card, please. Why is this here? Four of coins reverse. And then show me the hierophant or the faith card. Yeah, justice in reverse. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. So. 
someone is getting out of their head and releasing pain from the past, getting over, recovering some, from some type of betrayal or, or backstabbing or some type of extreme heartache here. Um, someone is also trying to, to drop their defenses and not be so defensive anymore. Also, someone could feel defenseless. Um, someone is pre-empress, though. Also, someone here is starting to stand in their own power. And someone else cannot um, defend against that. If that makes sense. Someone doesn't have a defense to stand on. Um, Ten of Coins reverse here. Someone is worried about they might lose their abundance with their person. Page of Swords here might be some type of bad news about taxes or um, legal matters. But I feel like it will go okay. It will have to be split though 50-50. Someone's going within to do some soul searching and to gain clarity about what it is that they want. They're letting go of old patterns, behaviors, greed, addictions, whatever the case may be. And they're moving into more having more faith, but also having faith in their commitment. Okay, justice in reverse. Someone doesn't want to get a divorce. Or someone won't give a, give a divorce here. Okay. So, before I pull some oracle cards, I want to let you know what signs you could be dealing with. Now, you don't have to be dealing with these signs particularly, but you could be. So, you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Virgo is really strong. Capricorn, Libra. Taurus, more Libra, <clears throat> but also something else I just picked up on is that somebody here feels like, okay, the divine has seen an injustice that was done, and so this has to be balanced out. Let me see, what is a potential outcome? Spirit, what is a potential outcome if everything was to stay on present course? Things becoming official. This also can be someone did a bad deal, a bad contract. There's a message coming through from the divine, and the divine saw this. So now it has to be balanced out. About marriage. Someone's uh, getting the message about someone getting married, possibly at court or like uh, justice of the peace. Anything else, please? And there's going to be faithfulness here. Someone isn't thinking about this, though. Anything else? <clears throat> Message? <laughs> Message. Again, the divine is bringing communication, abundance, love, um, protection as well. Show me marriage. Yeah, with the priest here. It's divinely guided to have this stability and this commitment and house. I mean, judge? What's this judge? Someone also might be judging this relationship from the outside. Um, someone might be getting married at the JP. Show me judge. Yep, journey. So traveling to do this. Might be like an eloping scenario. Fidelity. Misfortune. Someone is riding away. Either, okay, so someone... I have two paths here. Either one's going to, either one, one could end up one way and then the other. So be mindful of the paths that you take. One will lead to commitment and fidelity. The other one could lead to misfortune. If you don't think carefully. Use your best discernment. All right, let's see. Oracle cards. All right, let's see. Water signs. What do they need to surrender? We have surrendered to the magic of who you are. We all have magic in us, even in the mundane aspects of life. <clears throat> Excuse me. Remember that you are a magical being with a uniqueness and worth 
that come from just being you. Absolutely. Don't be anything else than what you're supposed to be. Okay. Then we have surrender to spirit. Once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal, turn the situation over, over to the divine. Let spirit work its magic for you. Surrender negative thinking. You have control over your thoughts. Oh, okay. Someone here might be thinking that if they get married, that someone's going to end up bringing misfortune to them, even though really they're going to bring fidelity. So you have, you have control of your thoughts. When negative thoughts surface, say thank you for sharing and quickly refocus on positive affirmation. So lower thinking out of fear and higher thinking from the divine. Then you have surrender worry. Exactly. Make a commitment not to heal an anxiety driven life or excuse me, not to lead an anxiety driven life. When worries arise, breathe them out of your body. Focus on the power of your heart and have faith that spirit is guiding you always. Let me get one more. Okay, anything else from my water signs need to surrender, please? Anything else? Thank you, Spirit. Okay, we have surrender your fear of change. The universe is reminding you that you are cared for always. Whether you're afraid of a change in your job, your health, or a relationship, or if you fear aging or dying, repeat the affirmation, I have faith. Faith that all is well. Absolutely. Getting out of your head and getting out of your own way. Relinquishing control. Letting things be what they are and where they're at. You know, basically just focusing on yourself. Living your own life. And what's meant to be will and what is not, it's not. Anything else, please, for my water signs? Please, anything else for my water signs, please? Doubt. It says, I release the need to know all the answers. Denial. It says, I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. Ooh, okay. And worry. It says, I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. Okay. We have balance. It says, I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment and then you have success. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. Absolutely. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, water signs. I hope this has helped you. Um, if you're watching from Facebook, I will leave my email in the comment section below. Um, so if you want to get a personal reading as well as my YouTube channel, if you're watching from YouTube and you want to get a personal reading, all that information will be in the description box below. Please like comment, share, and subscribe to my channel and like my Facebook page. Um, hit the notification bell so that way you know when I've uploaded something. Um, and as always, please take care of yourself. Until next time, bye.